Hello, friends of Brooklyn. I'm Michael Palsisco, the host of Brooklyn 2.0. And I'm so excited to be at the Copperstone Catering Event Center for the 12th annual Taste of Brooklyn. Let's go in and see what the various events are. I'm here with Jessica Cliff, mm -hmm. the president of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. Yes, hi. Jessica, it's so nice to see you again. You too, Mike. Can you tell me why the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce sponsors the Taste of Brooklyn? Sure. So it's our 12th annual Taste of Brooklyn. Um, we, the Chamber of Commerce is all about business to business, um, benefiting businesses, um, partnerships, as well as the community and the schools. So. Um, every year we do the Taste of Brooklyn and all that jazz that is our biggest fundraiser of the year that go, all the net proceeds go right back into our scholarship and education fund. So we are able to um, provide scholarships for graduating seniors and also provide a teacher grant. So all the proceeds go to benefit seniors that might go to a certain college yes. that could not afford it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not paying for the whole college education, but a small portion, so maybe it'll pay for their books or a, a portion of the room and board. It's a good start. Yeah. Throughout the evening, the Brooklyn Jazz Band is going to be entertaining us, um, which is always a great program that they put on. We have um, various vendors throughout the community that will come in and provide a taste of their cuisine. Um, we also have raffle baskets and 50-50 tickets that are available throughout the evening to help fund the, the scholarship so you're fund. telling me I get to sample all these restaurants here tonight? Yeah, we have 10 restaurants in house Ten tonight. Restaurants. Yep. Wow. I'm here with Sarah, the manager of BW3, Katie and Asia, the crew workers of BW3. Sarah, I love BW3. I love those hot wings. I've had them before. Extremely hot. That's awesome. So do we. Let me ask you this question. Why the Taste of Brooklyn? Taste of Brooklyn. We are in Brooklyn, so we love to show our support through the, for the community through anything we can do, especially events like this where we get to meet everybody and show off what we got. Tell me the, what you brought tonight. What did you bring tonight? Tonight, we brought our spinach and artichoke dip and our mini corn dogs, as well as our Asian Zing boneless wings and Parmesan garlic boneless wings. We have a variety of other sauces, but these are some of our favorites, so we thought we'd bring them. Do you mind if I try? Uh, Absolutely. The, which, this is the cornless. Mini corn dog. Mini corn dog, the Asian. Asian zing boneless. And the and spinach, then the spinach dip. dip. It's mouth watering. BW3. I'm here with Tim and Pam of the Hopper House. Absolutely. And I know you are the director of business and catering. Yep. And you're the catering manager. Yep. Tim. Yes. Why the Taste of Brooklyn? Um, well, we, we love to get out of the community. We're focusing this year on developing uh, a catering business. We've, we're buying a food truck. And we're also doing a lot of festivals around the city. So we really want to get out and be a part of the community. Um, the yeah, Taste of Brooklyn's great because it gives us an opportunity to, to kind of give something back. You know, it's, it's uh, for a good cause. We're raising money for the schools. and. Uh, you know, for, for an opportunity for us to come out and kind of show what we do, have a good time doing it, and do it, you know, some raise some money for a good cause is always uh, something we like to participate in. Now, Pam, I know you're the catering manager. What what do you what events do you cater? Um, any, everything we need to do: weddings, receptions, baby showers. We have two beautiful rooms at the Hopper House that people, a lot of people don't even know yeah. about. We can do catering there, or we can do off-site catering. So. Any type of catering you need, we can do it. We can provide German food or 
rum, out, we can go outside of that rum too. We bring an Oktoberfest to any oh. celebration. You yeah. bring the beer. That's yeah. right. Now, what, are, what food did you bring here tonight? What we have here is a traditional German sauerkraut with sausages. Uh, over on this side, we have a potato pierogi with caramelized onions on top and a little sour cream. And then we have an apple strudel with a little bit of powdered sugar on it. my favorite. There Do you go. mind if I no, try go, the apple go strudel? Go to. <laughs> Just take a little bit. Phenomenal. The opera house. I'm here with Sarah and Mary from Carabas Italian Grill. I love Italian food. Me too, me too. Why the taste of Brooklyn, Sarah? Why the taste of Brooklyn? Um, we love to have a presence in the community in any way that we can. Um, so just to like be here at Taste of Brooklyn, you know, for Brooklyn's sake, um, and kind of like talk to everybody that's here and just kind of feel everybody out, you know? Get a look at what's what else is going on, too. What did you bring this evening? Okay, so today I have our penne pasta with our scratch homemade uh, pomodoro sauce that's in the first pan. And then we also have chicken marsala, also scratch the sauce anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. Do you mind if I try the chicken marsala? I love of chicken Of course, marsala. of course, of course. Mary, do you mind? Oh. I love this job. <laughs> to taste all this great food. Yeah, of course. Chicken Marcella. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll hold the plate. Oh, so delicious. There we go. One of our signature dishes. We always recommend it. Chicken oh, yes. Marcella. A little more? Is that good? Oh, this is fine. Okay. Let me try a sample here. This this is chicken marcella. Oh yes. Delicious. I'm with Ed, the owner operator of the City Diner. Hey, how you doing? Francisco. Great to meet you. Michael as well. Nice to meet you. Why the taste of Brooklyn? Why is the City Diner? Why is the City Diner here? Well, actually, we have the opportunity to support our local chamber of commerce, uh, which we are proudly a member. Uh, we signed up this year as our inaugural year, uh, 2018, so we're very proud of that. I think it's an excellent opportunity to showcase some of the local uh, eateries that Brooklyn has to offer. Um, and we share that with being in the neighborhood of Old Brooklyn, just down the street on Memphis at 5109 Memphis Avenue. Um, you know, it's just an excellent opportunity to, to, to network and meet a lot of people. It's a fantastic turnout. I think they're going to, I think pre ticket sales were like 260. Uh, so that's a nice event size. Uh, and it definitely gives us an opportunity to market and show us, show folks that are, are attending what we can do. So definitely. That's my favorite question. Sure. What did you bring this evening? Well, actually, we bought a, uh, a rendition of our classic burger. We just shrunk it down a little bit for a tasting because there's so many fantastic food operators. We are doing a classic slider burger, which is a uh, two ounce patty here uh, with uh, roasted garlic mayonnaise, shredded lettuce, sliced fresh Roma tomato, and it's an all Angus beef 80-20 um, mix, which is fantastic. And it's top of the all Angus beef. All Angus beef, done with a little bit of uh, sliced cheddar as well. And our roasted garlic mayonnaise is a signature of, of the City Diner, so we make all of our soup sauces, all of our dressings, all of our vinaigrettes, nothing comes out of a box, we make everything fresh and from scratch. So this gives us an opportunity to show that. Do you mind if I try that slide? By all means, go ahead. I'm living the dream. This is the best. Pretty good. City Diner. Thank you. Copperstone. Yes. Catering and Event Center. What are you serving this evening? Uh, this is called pasta rosato. It's green peppers, red onions, mushrooms, Italian sausage, and our house-made red pepper cream sauce. And do you have like a, is that like a prime rib there? It's uh, a roast pork loin. Enjoy. And our house barbecue sauces. Let's try a little bit of this. This is good. Mike, a board member of the Chamber of Commerce. Yes, sir. Volunteering for all. 
Aldo's. Yes. I love Aldo's. Oh, great. Uh, a lot of people do. Uh, they were just uh, they're a small operation, so they couldn't afford to send somebody up here. So naturally, they sent the food, and we'd be more than happy to hand it out. What are you serving tonight? Uh, we're serving uh, uh, pasta with Aldo's special sauce. So what, what makes this sauce special? Uh, it's all made in-house, and it's been made the same recipe they've had for years. Aldo makes the best marinara sauce. There you go, Greg. <laughs> Mr. Fry. How are you? Good to see you, Mr. Fry. Aldo's. An Italian restaurant. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Mary, Margaret, and Coop, volunteers for the Polaris Center. Let me ask you, Mary, why the taste of Brooklyn? We're key bank employees, and we support the Chamber of Commerce. And you have all these wonderful cookies. Do you have a snickerdoodle? We do, right over there. Do you mind if I sample it? I do not mind. Okay, I'm going to step right over here. And these are all made by the students of the Polaris Center? Yes, the culinary. The that was the best snickerdoodle Good. made by the students of the Polaris Center. The perks of a taste of Brooklyn, a corner spine. Wonderful. Delicious pepperoni pizza, Chipettos. I'm here with Dr. Glykoff, the superintendent of the Brooklyn City Schools. It's an honor to meet you today, Glykoff. Same here. Same, Mike. Thanks. Why the Taste of Brooklyn? Well, the Taste of Brooklyn is one of the premier events of the year here in Brooklyn. And the beauty of it is it really benefits our kids in Brooklyn City Schools. They do so much for our kids. Uh, the scholarships, actually the proceeds from this event will get two uh, $2,000 scholarships for students who yes, for students here in Brooklyn and uh, for college, so that's wonderful. They also sponsor our Hire and Intern program, which gives rising seniors at BHS work opportunities right here in Brooklyn during the summer, and they also provide teacher grants. Uh, they awarded one teacher grant for $500 this past year to a sixth grade class, Ms. Mrs. Yarman's in the intermediate school, and she's going to actually have a, um, a school newspaper done with that with the grant. So really, why uh, the Taste of Brooklyn? It's for our kids, and it's a wonderful event, and we're so happy. I mean, this is probably our biggest uh, crowd ever, and so uh, what a great event tonight. Got your bike up. It comes down to the community, yep. and it's Brooklyn Pride citywide. Thank you, Dr. Mike. You're welcome. I'm with Nick, the treasurer of the Brooklyn Chamber of Commerce. Nick, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I see you have a 50-50 raffle. Yes. What do the proceeds go to for the 50-50 raffle? All the proceeds from the Taste of Brooklyn is long, with the 50-50 raffle go to scholarships for graduating seniors that are going to an accredited college. Um, they turn in applications, and then the board goes through them, and it's a process of seeing we give away a couple scholarships every year. What an event this evening. By far, the best event I've ever attended while working for Brooklyn 2.0. It's all about businesses and the community coming together to benefit the young people of Brooklyn. I'm Michael Palsisco, and I want to thank you for coming with me on this great event to benefit our young people. I love it, Brooklyn.